Alright, hello YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Today, we're just gonna see why these strange men are here, and what exactly their uh, purpose is. So, um, okay, shoot arrows into walls near enemies, distract them. So, hey, look at that. Look at that. Are you fucking serious? Stop moving your head. Okay. Stay still for a second. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so let's just loot these bastards. And we're just gonna walk up these stairs. Hopefully there's nothing ominous coming after us. Oh, I thought I had to go more up, but apparently there's something in. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, so I'm supposed to burn this, but, you know, um, maybe I can just take a different path? What is, what is my survival? Oh, this thing. Oh, I see. I get it now. Well, um, one of five lanterns. There can be more lanterns. What the hell? Oh, 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 okay, okay, this is neat. Yeah, just stay there for a little bit. Alright, and you die. Cool, and you're ready to die too. Oh, alright. Okay, so that was neat. Um, I don't think I looted him. So, yeah, I'm gonna get what I can. And what did you have... And all right, we're doing pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so they're both, so there are three of them. Oh, crap. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Because if I sneak kill him, that bastard's going to see me. And if I shoot any of them, they're all going to see it. Uh, they're going to see me if I move. Um, is there a way I could do this, you know, stuff? Stealthily? Is that even the word? I don't know. Um, let me just think, let me think, let me think. Um, I don't think there's a way I can... Whoa, why? Quit shining your damn light over here. Holy crap. I'm trying to... You're going to be the first one I kill. I don't even care anymore. Oh my fucking god. Just turn it away from me. And now they're going to notice. Oh, oh shit. Wait, did they really not? No, don't, don't say anything. Ah, oh, damn it. Of course they found out. Okay, I guess there's no point in staying quiet since they know. Oh, jeez. Can this little piece protect me? Come on, dude, you took two bullets. You should be up three now. Four now, you should be out of the count. Or whatever. Okay, um... So that was a thing. Let's just jump across. Oh, zip line scenes were so cool. I've always wanted to do that. I feel like there's something back here, though. Um... Um, um, um... Is there anything... Well, there's this. But don't need to burn that. Yeah, and I don't see fire in sight. You know what? It's not a big deal. Oh, wait. There's fire right there. Can I... Wait. Can I use this, though? Yeah, I sure can. All right. Maybe I'll find out what this is after all. Is there really not a sprint button? Or can I just not figure it out? Whatever. And what is this? Oh, some more salvage, huh? Oh, quite a bit of salvage. Okay, that was worse than that. But let, now, let's see what's ahead. Oh, what's this? When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, 
Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. Uh, is that the same Matthias guy that we met earlier? Because if so, my sneaking suspicion was definitely correct. <laughs> what the hell? Killing anyone that defies him on the spot? Uh, that's a little fucked up, don't you think? Oh, well, we're gonna... Oh, damn. Okay. I believe in you, Lara. Oh, shit. Okay, no, you're okay. You're okay. Well, good thing the wall isn't gonna just, you know, randomly crush her like some sort of, you know, trash compactor. Oh, no. Damn, this is really high up. Holy crap. Well, it is a mountain, isn't it? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Well, I sense more people ahead. Oh. Oh no, not the puppers. The puppers are so evil here. Thank God you're alive. Have God got nothing to do with it? It's good to see you two go. Sorry, they did a real number on your leg. Uh, no, it looks worse than it is. Uh, Have you heard from any of the others? Nothing. Wait, what are you doing? The wolves took my boot. Back. Oh, damn it, of course they did. If we don't get that back, we're not getting off this bloody island. Yeah, you, need, you need bandages, morphine, antiseptic. And also in the pack. Shit. Exactly. Damn, looks like we're on a mission for this pack then. Holy crap. Oh no, 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 don't do this to me, you northern bastard. It's alright, he's not dead yet. Yeah, dragging him to fire, because, you know, being in altitude and having it rain, it probably isn't too warm up there. Thank God he's still alive. Yeah, but he doesn't look like he'll last too long. We should get that pack from the puppers. I'll tell you what you're doing. You're saving your goddamn friend. Pack's up there somewhere. Yep, yeah, sometimes you just gotta do what you hate. Okay, so, um... Oh, wait, that doesn't... That wall doesn't look climbable, actually. Uh, time to take a detour. Hello, chicken. Well, I say that hello way late. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna assume I can climb this. Oh, wait, can I open this door? No, I guess not. There's no option. So I'm just gonna climb the house like a, like a cool person would do. Alright. Whoa, um... Someone definitely wants to keep someone else out of there. Holy crap. <laughs> Um, let's see, where... 
Oh, there's a door right there. What the hell? Oh, and there's something else right here. I almost missed it. After a fortnight, I was at last granted an audience with Her Majesty, Himiko of Yamatai. I must confess, she is unlike any woman I have ever encountered. Beautiful, yet inscrutable. Calculating, even. She surrounds herself with her priestesses of the sun. No men attend her, save the general of her armies. When I met with her alone, I came to realize that she is not at all what she seems. I was sent by my lord to spy on her, to assess the strength of her armies. But now, I feel she is the one assessing me. My lord has perhaps underestimated the threat of Yamatai. Though I cannot gauge the true strength of her storm god, I cannot deny a powerful feeling that the Sun Queen should not be trifled with. Hmm, this Sun Queen seems pretty, uh, badass, I'm just gonna say. So, uh, let's just, uh, let's just see. Oh, more salvage. That's just too good to pass up, I'm sorry. It's just way too good. Is there any other shit out here? Anything? No? Alright, I'm going up. Is this even the right way? I don't know. <gasps> Burning stuff! Um, I don't see fire. Oh wait, but I see a... Lantern? Can I shoot it? Well, that doesn't seem to do anything. Well, sorry, Salvage, I don't care enough. Uh... Laura, no, you got this. Okay, wait, so it's A to go back up, and then B to go down. Yeah, you got it. So where am I supposed to be going again? Okay. It looks like this is the right path. Ugh. This train looks, uh... Pretty... Pretty rusted. I don't trust it. Mmm, what luck. <laughs> Lightning right in front of our path. Let's just keep climbing up this, uh, this thingy. Yeah, can I climb this? No, I can't. Huh. Oh, and then... <laughs> Alright, that was pretty cool. So, we should be getting close to this pack now. Oh! Wait, how do you know the pack's in there? Well, uh, okay. Let's go off your instincts, Lara. Well, I mean, even if she's wrong, we know it's in this general area. So it's not that. Oh, Pupper. Pupper, please no. I don't want to have to kill any more of you than I already have. I just want the pack. Yeah, come on, Puppers. Don't y'all understand? You greedy bastards can understand, right? <laughs> And now I'm just gonna walk out of here without being, okay. without harming any puppers. Or running into any. Because that's what a perfect world has in store for us. And that's exactly what the. Oh god! Oh wait, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah! Oh. Oh, pupper, why? Oh. oh. Why can't you just stop? <laughs> it hurts so much. Oh, that was close. Good thing that was the only pupper we'll see in this cave. Oh wait, shit, it might actually be. <laughs> Alright. And now we make our way down. Um, is there any faster way? Um, you know what, I'm not gonna take a chance and just fall to my death, so... We're just gonna take this way, even though it might be slower. Alright, oh, salvage! Good thing we went this way. Okay, and jump on the roof. Uh, you're okay. And now we go back to Mr. Roth, who is in need of some... Serious medical attention. Right. Let's get you patched up.
Oh, hooray! He's up. It may be better. I don't know. Hopefully. That's what we'd like to assume. Shifted the nine bells. I'm gonna pretend like I know what that was. On a broken bottle. Wait. Hey. I'm gonna pretend like I know what that is. Got Whatever. It. Doesn't matter. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. You can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. I don't think I'm that kind of croft. Sure you are. Clearly you are if you survived all this shit. I just don't know it yet. But hey. Confidence is one of the most important steps. Well, that's happened my fast letter then. Just be careful, Laura. So what does that tool allow me to do? I guess we'll find out soon enough. Whenever this cutscene decides to... Oh, there it goes. Ah, climbing axe. Ah, now we can climb those suspicious looking walls. Okay. I can climb. Sure you can. Oh, this is nice. Um. Yeah, this is definitely a faster way to travel than all that parkour shit. Well, pff, why am I calling it parkour? Isn't this... I don't know. I don't know enough about the topic to call things parkour. But it whatever, it's faster. Alright, now you're gonna climb this. Oh, okay, I guess I have to jump and then press X, cause I was pressing X while smushing my face into the wall and I wasn't getting anywhere. Oh, and then I have to press X to reattach. It, she doesn't just automatically reattach. You don't think that would be instinct? Yeah, whatever, I guess. Not a huge deal. Okay, where am I supposed to go? Up! Awesome. Just moving forward. Just moving on up. Um, okay, I see. Now I need to jump here. Okay. Man, I sure hope there aren't any- Oh, damn it. Couldn't even finish the sentence that time. Don't want to stop talking and, like, look the other way. Okay, so one of y'all look the other way. Oh my god, can y'all shut the hell up so I can kill y'all without being noticed? Okay. Oh, Jesus, I had the fucking... That was that was great. I had the fucking pistol out, and I didn't even think about it. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, well, this is... This is... Well, what a pickle I've gotten myself into. Okay, that took me long enough to get back up here, but since I'm the smartest person alive, they probably already know I'm here. Well, I don't know. Now they're looking like nothing's wrong. Well, we'll see what happens if I just shoot him in the face. Well, he didn't react. Okay. Okay. I like second chances. They're nice. <laughs> but, uh, I could have sworn there was a third guy. Well, I guess we'll find him when we see him. Is there anything in that room over there? Oh, I'm not entering from that side, that's for sure. Uh. Oh, yep, some salvage. Oh, and whatever this is. The note thingies. I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. 
Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense. But what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagine. Yep, what did I say? The queen is a bad ass. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, whatever. Um, okay, so that was worth it, I guess. Got some neat stuff out of this. Alright, cool. Oh, okay, I see where to go now. And we jump and climb the rock. And, oh, of course. You know, if you get a running start, you could probably make, well, actually, I don't know. Could you make that jump with a running start? I don't know. Whatever, it's safer to use the stick. And we jump across. You almost didn't even need the, the, the fucking, the tool to climb the rocks. You probably could just make that if you reach hard enough. But whatever, I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. And. We reattach. Hooray! We didn't die horribly. Lara, are you there? Reyes, did you find Sam? We're still on her trail. I'm going to try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. I'll let you know when I find it. Uh, oh, and then I... <laughs> that looks silly as hell. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, so they already know I'm here. So... Stop throwing stuff. Ah, damn it, you bastard. Poke your head out again, I dare you. Poke your head out for more than a second. I dare you. Ah, oh, if only my aim were better. God damn it. Okay, come on. Okay, finally, I didn't suck for once. Okay, cool. Are you kidding me? Why is my aim poo? You just... You should be down for the count. You ate I don't know how many bullets. Get out of here. That is unrealistic. Let me salvage this shit from you. Okay, now I'm going to go on assuming they don't know I'm in this exact area. And I'm going to use that fire to get more salvage. If I can just remember to hold X instead of just press it. And ta-da! We get more salvage! And that's... Yeah! It's pretty damn good. Now we squeeze through here. And, oh, hooray, a campsite. What luck. I'm telling you, Reyes, it's a mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. Looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <laughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah, he's cute, <laughs> huh? Yeah, he's very cute. Hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. <laughs> get wrecked. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Get fucking wrecked. <laughs> So I was on the walk, right? You're gonna spot a midnight fishing. Hey, Grim, time to batten down the hatches. I bet it with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. 
So when I give her a young Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> get shot a trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> All right. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay. Now, take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Come on, cut! 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 <laughs> He's got a big ego over there, holy crap. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. <laughs> Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's days. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well... Whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara. Well, that was uh, quite a bit of story. So, yeah, let's just go to this campsite and see what we can do. Yeah, I think that's the question everyone's thinking about, Lara. What's this? Brawler upgrades. Okay. We're gonna do some pain tolerance. Alright, and I think I'm gonna call that an episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.